but just making sure at least he's got a value level to, to get rid of the flame guard at level one. Otherwise, it would have been a nice chunk of damage that Hawk could discard and would just maybe force Mameng Dai to, to get a little bit of extra region coming through. But we see Bot Young PH is in trouble. A couple of Asians coming out, but unfortunately, that is not enough as Lim. He's got, um, you give a, a kill over like that super early on, then we, we see the PA is not really going to be able to go up and actually see us under tower. And we're just seeing here in the mid lane, so Mamang Dai, he's going for the skill build that I was expecting, you know, just the one point in the gush once you get uh, at least two points. Oh, Soaring goes down. Uh, once you get more than one, it doesn't reduce that at all. Oh, gets the arrow off as well. <laughs> doesn't, I guess no one was in range to dodge it with the slide, and she's just going to pay the price there, just run straight into it, and well, Murano. As well, so more movement speed. Oh, he even has to go past the double damage rune that spawned on the bottom side of the river, so Lim's going to be able to secure that for the tide. And that's what he got a regen now and a DD, so both times refilling the bottle here. Top lane, Zarin, getting chased down. Skill A trying to 1v1 versus you, but this might not work out considering ET has to pop the fairy fire. He's got the movement speed as well to chase down. Skill A might have to pop the self. ET doesn't do so. He'll still get the kill before he dies, however. He'll take that, the experience, the free trip. Before this time, you say he was having a, a pretty good time throughout the early game. Wami got the Invis, and well, they find the Phantom right. Assassin. There's going to be an immense amount of damage. The Veil combined up, even the ET claim of the kill just should be putting pressure on the map. There we go. They're going to do just that with the wraparound. They'll find another target, just the squishy Oracle. Mumang Dai is going to be the one to claim. But down with the beautiful Echo Storm actually disrupts Mars to be able to follow up with the arena. So completely wasted here from Radiant. They do still have the vision on top of the Sand King on the back, thanks to the Sentry. But Mumang Dai is going to chuck up the Ravage, controlling up three with the Bottle Strike follow up as well. They are able to secure the kill on the Sand King. They've got to be careful because Skill Lay with this Sandstorm, it's maxed out. It's doing a lot of damage if they continue diving deep. But Hall, they'll retreat and find the Ember Spirit. Very big fight for army. Having a rough time for sure. I mean, Skill A, again, his Rubik, he's able to put in a lot of work. They're lacking. He needs uh, the Claymore and the Void Stone as well. So he's not too far behind. He's definitely recovered. And I feel like this Orb of Corrosion, with the amount of targets that it's going to be hitting, you know, of course, with the slow, the minus armor. If Tide does opt to go for the Desolator, which looks like is the case, Radiant it's a fair amount of minus Radiant. armor stacked up with the Gush. Uh oh. Just Elder Titan being nearby, have they found up him top. again? Yep, Young PH, nice TPs, but he's unable to disengage it. Lum still finding that last right click. One is in trouble, but now with the beautiful Echo something shop, this is going to try and charge up the ultimate. Oh, Has to nice find the Boris Strike, but on to two. They get the Force Prompts off. It's going to keep Skill A alive for a little while longer, but it means that Oracle is now vulnerable to you, who's able to dive under the tower and skill lay still pops as well as one we find to double because uh, they don't have the numbers at the moment but they're going to blink on forward once again the combo coming through and mars he just oversteps the mark he's going to get brought down they chuck the ravage as well it Stole does get stolen here so they're going to be careful how far they chase but the damage is just lacking so drastically at the moment for yank on another stun fall up on Hawk. he's in trouble he's actually going to chuck the double remnant out now with the stolen ravage enables them to skill with a kill on top of the mirana but Hawk, he's utilized all his mobility here just to be able to bring down the Mirana, so ring around the Rosie is the only hope he has, but he'll pay the price. Mank Dai is not done just yet. He wants an ultra kill. Do they ever cancel? They don't. Burrow on cooldown, Echo Stomp on cooldown as well. But Army Genius is putting Yangon in the grave here in this game one. And the thing I'm most happy about, he's nearly finished up that Desolator. What's queued up next? Sure, but Anchor Smash and Ricky is still gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, uh... it's it's a it's a well, you. A lot of damage here, Hall with that DD. Speed brings him down as well, but main guy is coming over. He's got the Desso, he's got the Ravage as well. The Chuck of the False Promise at the start of the fight, but the Tide, he doesn't give a damn. Already with that ultimate on cooldown for the Oracle, he knows he can just brute force down the Mars. Dorain's able to keep his life. Main guy still chucks out the Ravage here. It's solo. It does get solo once again, so it's a one for one to start the fight. The Sand King has to disengage with the Burrow Strike, but DB is going to show up finally. Finds a kill on top of skill late. Now they want Lon as well. Man, look at the damage. DB level 15. That extra help. Anchor smash. When you've gone this right click build, it, uh, it's pretty damn deadly. Do you. I, I know they. Beefy hero, so you know it's now up to the, the Ricky to play that role as well. Young PH, and along with Lon, they're just going to get caught out up on the high ground. 
Oracle brought down along with the Phantom Assassin. That's a messy, messy spot to be for Yangon. They might just be able to get in range here thanks nice to Hor, but still, they're coming over. Now, Hor's going to be careful. Kadiza doesn't have too much mana himself, so just has to look at him go. I mean, now he's stunned up with the Baru. He's got a BKP, but where do you run to from the Ember Spirit? Has to pop it, but that's super defensive. Will attempt the TP out if they got the damage they don't, but shoved it out, but too slow there. They find Young PH though, they're gonna blink up straight oh, away. Blim is straight on top of the PA, so it won't get too long of a stun thanks to the arrow, but it doesn't matter. The main Dyer even has the Imp Claw as well as he picks it. It looks like they have already starting to make a movement down though, but PA is gonna be careful. Remember, you've got uh, just the one Wally. big charge they've been able to find. Even diving, no, even the they are here, but they just burst the Sand King underneath the tower, so a little bit too deep from Wami. And there's a disadvantage they have in the numbers, but let's see if Army Genius still want to find Hank Dyer in the what? Ravage. Look at that! On to three. Rubik will fall. Rick is still going to be careful as well, but he's got the Aegis, so it doesn't matter. This extra life potential. We see DB just playing around with their food here. Zarin finds the Spirits, end up ticking downs, but it doesn't matter as Yangon lose three. Horde, they disrupt also the Remnant. Let's see if they can find the connection after the Yules. They do limp point blank with the arrow. Finds four, and that's all set up. Thanks. Survive, but costs four and it costs you a lane of racks is it really worth it probably attack. say no Did you just call it here <laughs> i like uh, right before that fight Radiant broke out i was attack. like well dota plus said 98 percent hey so they're well aware yeah. this is happening the scan does get connected good position yeah, yeah limb look at that perfect. spot pops it here Lorraine's going to try and blink up. Remember, he doesn't have the ultimate up of the counter. Oh, my God. Whoa, the damage. Oh, man. Army Genius just shred them apart. That's been the story of this game. Young PH, that's your 10-second BKB where you try and disengage. And now they have to call it Army Geniuses, man. They wipe the floor. That'd be nice. But still will you be able to see this one coming through from the Willow? These monkeys going away. Young PH. These Willows coming. That should be our first blood down, but no. Nice telekinesis from Lon finds a, a double stun. Although Wami still has some mana thanks to the mango getting popped there. So Exor, it's not really a hero that wants to be making rotation. So I, I am really intrigued to see if this invoker going Exor is, is going to be a nice payoff for them or if it's going to end up costing them in the, in the long run. As Earthshaker might be in trouble though. There is a bit too aggressive here against Yangon's duo. Down. ...to withstand that first combo. The Ash was on cooldown now, so he doesn't have it defensively. This is the big thing about the OD mid, and now Zarin even showing up as well. They drop the Sunstrike, which doesn't find the connection. Now, Mameng dies, still going to pay the price, though, you. Fortunately, not able to keep his core alive, and he's eating a lot of damage as well from Yangong. Zarin, got to be careful, though. They're even going to roll in forward, skill late. But another kick up in a couple of seconds, so finds the slow and finds the kill. Two down from Army Geniuses in the mid lane. They've got a catapult wave as well, but they are very weak, so probably not going to be able to utilize it here to full effectiveness. And even see kill down bot as Young PH. This has been a, a rough laning stage so far for the Ember. This time around, it went ward on the high ground. Yeah, they're just going to back up and be like, all right, we'll play further down to the southern side then. We see Young PH. Tricky, but he drops the arena first. Now with the fall from you, the control thanks to the Bramble, but nice kick out. It's into another Bramble for Young PH. He survives another the Sun Strike. They'll find you. Wami's gonna get chased down as well. The TP potential from Zarain paying off big here with that plus one effect as Yangon find two in their own jungle. Tempted to go for a few fights, and well, Lim hasn't really died from them, but still, he might die now. Skill there, even with the help of the Wrath of Nature. Gonna take him out with the urn along with that magnetize. Looks like Lim. One more rock's gonna get dropped here, but it put Skill Lay in a bit of a difficult spot going for that deep attempt. Unfortunately, the Sun Strike was off the mark, so that extra damage was lacking. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Able to save him though, which, uh, of course, as a Shaker, you're having to save up so much gold, most of it being unreliable. So you're just going to keep losing, losing, losing. They're going in onto DB here with the uh, Orchid Pop potentially. Just be a little bit careful. Doesn't have the rest of the team to be able to back this up. There. They're continuing to go, but I don't know if they can Jigger. fight this. They're coming over, Radiant, DB. Want to drop the ultimate, but look at the damage. They're just slowly poking and prodding them down on Army Genius. And now with how weak they are, they're going to have to disengage. While we drops the ultimate, so they find the kill on Lun. But now DB has to retreat away. Even Lum as well is getting chased down. But I hasted up Furion. 
And just this constant choking across the map just puts Army Not Genius balance. in a tricky spot here for the Boundless. Points too, they push back Ember as well into the tower, so they're going to be able to punish the deep attempt there. And now with the Bramble, set up for the Terrorize. Wommy doesn't have a spear available, but he's going to run to the follow-up of the Bramble. And Mamang Dyer drops the hammer, finds a triple kill. And well, Army Genius, who are overly aggressive right now, and Army Genius is, but if you're ever going to take fights, it has to be on your terms around your own choke points and where they were positioning just before on their high ground. And once again, on their high ground around the triangle camp, they're going to be able to catch up Lun. Vizard doesn't find Young PH. They still drop the Sun Strike, which is an immense amount of damage on Wami. So Young PH trying to posture aggressively to find that extra little damage to be able to bring down the Mars, but it won't be enough. And now has he stuck around for a little bit too long? Astral sets up for the spear. They find the connection. And now even Skill Lay tries to help out somewhat defensively with Sans, but it's not enough as Lim just walks in, drops the Echo. And that's a double tied up with uh, the rest of the supports as well. You can see Dark Willow kind of struggling at the moment. They're trying to funnel a lot of the farm into the the earth shaker but all oh, the items freshly picked up so now with the cataclysm that's enough damage to be able to find the mars and now with the backline as well they drop the hammer it's enough damage to be able to kill off the earth spirit here but they're still continuing to more as fear it up now into the cursed crowns enough control to be able to find the ember spirit they turn that fight around they do lose two at the stops i think typically you want to go for something like a your scepter but i think this is definitely a four staff game for you yeah especially against a, a sun strike where you need to have uh, an escapability to get out of that combo arena. Locking Zarain, but oh, nice attempt at the TP. It's nice going to get cancelled though from DB. And now Zarain has to retreat away. Put Skill in a bit of a tricky spot, but Radiant, they're still coming over to take the fight. Monkey King falling incredibly low here. Still doesn't have any protection against a lot of the magic damage from Yangon. So they find two around this mid lane deep underneath. Just going to try and take a fight here. Dire, they're on a high ground around their Observer Ward, but. Might be Sorry. able to run into young PH while me sets up. Fish is going to find the connection for the slap. And number the Cataclysm gets dropped before from retreat. It's an immense amount of damage. So OD has to protect himself with the Astral. Zarain's going to TP on the back up with the BKP. But the OD still in trouble. We already see the defensive factor in the Astral has been utilized. He runs into the roll as well. Three going to end up falling. Zarain still hunting for more. As you just see, taking fights that pre b Team. Blink Dagger yet to be picked up for Wami. Monkey King, he's yet to get his own Ag Scepter. They'll probably go into Ascardi after that. And they're able to pick off Skill Lay here. They're going to they? do it fast because they're coming over here, Radiant. Young PA oh, down with no, the Cataclysm on both the supports. They're just food right now for this combo. Going to try and run up the higher gun, but Zarain, he's just going to TP in. He doesn't give a damn. They know that they've got the numbers advantage at the moment in the Mars. He's feeling like a support right now with the net worth as well. Very far behind considering all the cores and he'll end up dropping as well. Watered, essentially, so... And they eventually pop the smoke. They're going to use Monkey as a little bit of bait. He's got the BKB. He's damn close to his Ag Scepter. That would be huge to be able to have at the start of this fight. But I just think they, they want to try and catch oh, he's Yang going off. There's a sentry. Young Page got to be so careful. They drop it. But once again. Oh, oh no. Now the Cataclysm. Look at the roof for so long. The Yorset that protects the Mars. But the Will is still going to fall. The back lines are. Range just deals with the Yorset Shaker instantly. Army Genius is constantly just getting picked up before they can start the fight. But the team fight. And now Monkey King is going to get caught out as well. Can't even utilize the BKB. Mamek dies. Getting chased back inside the base. But Yangon. They need the buybacks. They need them down. Mamek dies in trouble. So as the Astral just in case. But it's oh, actually stolen here from Radiant. Buybacks, look at him come out. This is an immense amount of commitment here from Army Genius. They need to get something out of it with the stun set up off. The Astral is going to drop the hammer of Young PH, unable to get away. A nice attempt with the slide dodge, but it's not enough. He'll end up falling, but the price has been paid. An immense amount of buybacks from Army Geniuses. Yeah, three buybacks. For them, we, we have, of course, the Observer advantage there, but... We saw the Ember Invis, they were smoked up. They had a sentry on the lane. If they literally were standing, mm -mm, top might not get a chance here as Skill A rolls in, pops the BKB. Dire, they're coming over here to try to protect the Earthshaker. He's going to get someone stop and just brought down Man Sorry, it's damn it. Oh no, it's so rough for them. Two down. Remember, they bought back previously. Wommy's getting chased as well. Yeah, one dieback's used. Are they going to be able to catch out Wommy? Who have they found as well, actually, near the, the jungle? It's going to be the main Dire. He's going to pop the BKB just turn, but it doesn't matter. Now the physical damage with the Alacrity and the Fury on. And that might be getting to the stage where they're going to have to call it pretty soon as Yangon Galacticos. Force a game three. Nicely done. As long as if he doesn't end up falling and hopefully gets lucky with some power runes, but... Top lane, seeing the aggression come through with the tag team, Zarain. 
But that extra point up in the ash shields, chunking down you. He's got to be careful there. Able to find first blood. DB, he's also getting crit through. But Zarain ends up losing out of the ash shield. He's still got the movement speed thanks to the brown boots. DB's trying to chase him down. Can he find the vision? Has to sidestep the echo stomp, but unfortunately, walks back not able to him. do so. But regardless, Zarain, uh oh, who's got the movement speed? Just the ET5 extra. We haven't had too much action. Uh, just the farm fest that's naturally going to be when you're in a mag lineup. But they will drop the RP. The Tusk just making some aggressive rotations. I don't know if he was trying to ward. Has he got one? No, he doesn't. <laughs> so, skill leave. No, he'll still end up falling. You must have mistaken my yeah, I haven't seen, honestly, I wonder when... You've got the Phantom Rush. You've got that extra 44 agility as soon as you hit that level 7. Ah, in trouble. is pretty beefy, though. Treads, Brace off, Fairy Fire as well. But Hall is able to bring him down. The help of the Tuscar, the damage is enough. Top side, we got an Omslash coming out as well. Zarin trying to man fight. Almost finds a kill on you, but the crit from DB. Gonna secure that one, so kills across the map. About that. I mean, it's important to be able to get out of the, the silence coming through from the puck, but how are you actually gonna kill them here? I'm not sure if the empower is gonna be enough. Main Dio. I have to drop the RP here for skill layer, although he does have the boars, which is level four. Couple of right clicks, that's enough. Yeah, I, I. You know, we've got a bit of an attempt on this bottom side, but young PH is not scared at all. He's like, what? Well, you've got a, a couple of boars, and now we're trying to deal with his siege creep a little bit, but he's just getting gone on. Like, this is a 1v2. Phoenix will fall. Ogre. Oh, Somehow, the there's absolutely no way on brawls across. Man, I was watching top because they were diving, but. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a worry. Concern. Yeah. How do you deal with it? Like. Don't They're gonna try it. now. It's taking an immense one. amount of damage, but the raw magnetized lemon wommy. That's how you deal with it right now. Still, as the game goes on, it's gonna be a bit difficult, but they're coming over. Man, they want some revenge. Hall. He's gonna drop the coil on just the Beastmaster limb. Dodges out on the double coil. So, we're gonna be able to continue on with the fight. Chucked up into the air. Down to his death is the Beastmaster limb as well. Chunk down, man. Zarf Rain. Plus 256 damage. Shockwaves gives him some space. They even dropped the supernova as well. Mank Dyer. He committed him with that skewer. Is at least going to get out of range here. The Echo Stomp a little bit too late. Tries to dodge it with Illusion. A nice attempt there. But they've got to be careful because they don't have vision on the high gun and the reinforcements are coming through. The cavalry has finally arrived. The Jew finds the puck, but the follow up isn't there from Lim. Still just three heroes right now as a juggernaut freely farming dump. They're just not on the same page right now. He's your team fight starter. I mean, they're eventually going to pick out Roche, but they've already used the ice shards into the pit. They're forcing it. I mean, Blink's not completed. You've got to be careful. Taking a fight inside Roche with Yangon's lineup is super scary. Main yeah. die. Blink in. Drag back. Zarain. RP. Doesn't want to drop it just yet. Now with the Supernova. Horde's going to blink in as well, but the rest of die commit forward to try and deal with the Supernova. They're going to be able to do so successfully, but an instant buyback for the odd tide. He wants to try and rejoin the fight. The DB, he's okay. in trouble. Dropping the Omnislash. Look at the damage coming through. Connect tanked up. Thanks to the Illusions, but still they found the real Phantom Lancer. Thanks to the Raw. Holding in place. PL down 40 seconds. They're going to try and drop the ultimate for Zarain. Doesn't really do too much as the rest of Army Gene just tear them apart. The Moving Dire catches the puck on the higher ground. They get a multicast as well. That's five down. Army Geniuses. They take the fuck. The hesitation means that army geniuses, they're like, well, 23 minutes. We probably should have been uh, going for our second rush by this point, but we'll take the first. Yeah, the nice ward positioning as well. They're out of there. Got to be careful on the PL. He actually doppelgang is in now. Now with the RP follow up, they're going to be able to deal with the illusions. Phantom Lancer gets a little bit of protection, but some rape can they bring down throughout the stun range? They can. PL going to end up falling here. No extra health. For health. And sure. Once you've got your mana burned, you're probably not going to be taking all that much. Oh, they know Lon's here. No. Oh, the dive! <laughs> I found Lon! Oh no! Oh, this is so interesting. I love seeing the Aishar for the Beastmaster. We saw it on Monday, mid lane as well. DB just slashes down the ET there. Going from lane to lane, finding kill off the kill. Puck's going to be careful as well with the kickback. Wami just a little bit too late on the raw complete vision they can just leave right they they know that the uh they're not going to get there in time to do the ages no pops or since they're going to try and blink on forward remember this is the agonim's poil so joe's going to be incredibly careful with the position they're going to try and dive on forward and drop the super open instant with a counter blink on they will be able to deal with the rp as well giving the space to phoenix supernova is going to end up popping up with the omni slash as well ripping down puck it's all up to young ph but they found the real phantom lantern tear him apart they do army genius says they're not done just yet chasing down skilly he's hiding through a couple of trees left standing but he will end up falling 
game two. Man, just the vi- Sorry, Just to, to not take that around the same time. I mean, again, I mentioned it before with Zorane. Like, he lived through all of that, but he has not gained any experience in the past three minutes. So he's still not level 15. He still can't make maximum Radiant's use out of this Ag Scepter. Needs that extra buff up in the talent and they're going to work here they got the ac they got catapult wave necro threes jugs fat through the roof and now oh lord swift slash crit him down that's another death here and yang gun it's all falling apart right now for the boys on radiant i mean they're just going to continue losing they might just get megas here look how fast they siege this is what they happens, you highlighted this. I mean, you've got a lineup that if you win a fight, you just take an objective after objective and Radiant now to defend this. They don't have Supernova, Hall dropping the coil. Damage needs to come through for Young PH. He's gonna try and dish it out, but he's gonna be careful because he has to actually retreat away. Rain, they found the real Phantom Lancer once again. He's able to get the man drop now with the Doppelganger. Young PH scurries away. Jug falling a little low, but they've caught out the real Phantom Lancer. One with the Royal. Where's the fall? Lim's gonna roll him forward. Finds the connection now. Stewart is dragged back as well. Young PH and Doppelganger in the nick of time is able to get a little bit of health back from the heart, but they're still diving underneath the tier 4 tower. The axe is enough to be able to secure with the kill. Skill lane's gonna end up falling as well. Two down from Yang, but they got a couple of buybacks. Meanwhile, outside the base, though, going to work deep being Hall, they're solo 1v1. Who's gonna end up winning it though? They're not done just yet. They want these Megas, they want them now. Cut them down, take him out of the game here. Max gonna end up falling, but DB still the juggernaut shredding them apart here. Crit after crit. Supernova's gonna end up popping. They're able to deal with the Earth Spirit now. Back in they go. Dire, they're incredibly healthy. They're able to utilize this healing ward to their fullest advantage here, but maybe they're getting burnt down a little bit too long. Have they stayed their welcome? Or blinking on. Core's about to come back up as well. They are able to cut you out the joke, but where's the damage? The team's not there. Oh, it's pretty much just up to the puck. The solo man out of all of Yangon turning these fights on the head. They'll get the TP out, but man, that fight cost them heavily their hands. But man, they're not taking it too far still with this. You gotta at least send the boars in for the vision. Well, Jog's up in five. This is taking a little bit too long. Nice uh, cutting off of the entrance way. They just want kills. They know that's going to take him a bit too long with Roche. Oh, got chucked up in the air from the punch. Lim's even going to try and jump in as well with Coral Drop. Pop himself with the BKB, but Lim's just taking a little bit too much damage here. Jug's able to rejoin them now. Look at the damage. They dropped the Supernova. Main is going to be able to fall up as well with the attack speed. It's through the roof. Supernova has they never been able to go again. off this game. And now with the RP, four points to two. Army geniuses. They also get the stun thanks to the Hawk. Drop them down. Young P. Hey, Doppelganger is on top of him here. They're able to find the real Phantom Land. So they don't have buybacks here. They'll chase down Zarbrain as well. The impact hasn't been there so far in the ET. They're trying to buy back to potentially hold this Roshan, but it's just PL and the Park Army geniuses hold on until the Jug's alive and they turn that fight. Wobby he's just found him over and over and over again. Lots of uh, oh, they steal it. No, oh, Park has used everything now. How do you get out? Burnt out of mana. Luckily, he's got a buyback, but. I mean, the lanes are getting pushed in. Attempt. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Young yeah. PH just has no damage and they heavily deal with them. And look at that. But man, Dyer, he, he's got this talent. They find Young PH once again. Doppels on cooldown. He's got a Duke and Giant, but this Blade Fury damage is through the roof. Once again, the raw. They find the real Phantom Lance and that's it. Man, how many times are they going to find the real Phantom Lancer throughout the Raw? Wommy on point this game with the ultimate usage or try and delay as much as possible. But this one, this is over. They drop it. Army geniuses. They're going to take the series here. Beautiful performance from them. And 